Imagine having peace of mind no matter what Mother Nature throws at you. Welcome to the world of disaster readiness. A well-stocked disaster response kit is your lifeline to survival in uncertain times, designed to keep you and your loved ones safe, healthy, and relatively comfortable in the wake of an unexpected crisis. Ready to become a master of preparedness and conquer anything that comes your way? This guide will turn you into a disaster response pro, providing you a detailed checklist of essentials for building a disaster response kit to sustain your family for up to three months. Remember, this isn't about expecting the worst, but rather empowering yourself to face any challenges with confidence and the knowledge to survive. Creating a comprehensive disaster response kit is a vital aspect of being prepared for any short of a catastrophic event. Here is a comprehensive list for building a disaster response kit to last you for three months. Remember, this list will need to be adjusted based on your individual needs, location, and the nature of potential disasters in your region or area. So let's jump into the list and get going on this video. This is probably one of the most important videos that you're going to watch at this point in time right in your life. You want to make sure that you do save this video, download this video, share it with your friends and family because the information you're about to receive can change your life and change your family's outcome in a very bad, catastrophic situation that you do not want to be a part of and you want to be ready. So sit back and enjoy this video and take notes, save the video and share it. Water. The standard recommendation is at least one gallon of water per person per day for drinking and sanitation. For a three month supply though, that's about 90 gallons per person. This may not be practical to store for a lot of people. So consider water purification tablets or filter systems as well. Number two, food. Stockpile non-perishable food. Focus on high energy, nutritious items that require minimum preparation and water. These can include things such as canned meats, fruits, and vegetables. Remember to include a manual can opener also. Ready to eat canned soups and stews. Dried cereal or granola. Peanut butter. Dried fruit. Nuts. Crackers. Powdered milk. High energy protein bars. Comfort stress foods. Infant food if required if you do have young children. Number three. Cooking tools. Now this is going to be your portable stove and fuel tablets. Pots, pans, and cooking utensils. Aluminum foil. Matches and a Bic lighter. Fire starter and a waterproof container so you can always get a fire going if necessary. Number four, medical supplies. A comprehensive first aid kit is a must. It should include the following. Abrasive bandages of various sizes. Sterile gauze pads and adhesive tape. Tweezers and scissors. Antiseptic wipes and hydrogen peroxide. Over-the-counter pain reliefs. Antibiotic ointments. Prescription medication and eyewear. Thermometer, anti diarrhea medication, antacids, laxatives, and a first aid guidebook to help guide you through if you do not know some of these type of things and what they do and how to use them. Number five, sanitation and hygiene. This is a one where people lack the most toilet paper, soap, liquid, 
and bar, hand sanitizer, toothpaste, toothbrushes, feminine supplies, plastic garbage bags and ties, plastic bucket with a tight lid, disinfectant, household chlorine bleach. Number six, tools and supplies. A battery operated or a hand crank radio will also come in very handy. Flashlights with extra batteries, multi-tool with a knife, rope and duct tape is a must, cash and important documents such as your birth certificates, passports, important insurance papers, wills, maps of your local area, a whistle to single for help if need be, dust mask to filter contaminated air, plastic sheeting and duct tape to shelter in place, wrench and pliers to turn off utilities. Number seven, communication devices. Emergency communication radio is a must. Fully charged power banks and a solar charger. Number eight, clothing and bedding. A complete change of warm clothing for each person in the household. A pair of sturdy shoes or boots for each person in the household. Rain gear for all the people in your home. Blankets or sleeping bags for all the people that live in your home. These are very important parts of your preparedness is this one right here. Number nine, personal documents and money. Copies of identification, insurance policies, and credit card numbers. You're going to need cash in small dominations. Number 10, safety equipment. Fire extinguisher is a big one. Smoke detectors is a big one. Make sure that you have extra batteries for them unless they are hardwired. And sometimes they do have a backup 9 volt battery that you can change out to keep them working. A carbon monoxide detector is also another critical one. You want to find one that does have a battery backup if it is hardwired into your home. Number 11, special items. And this is for like babies. Formula, diapers, bottles, pacifiers, and powdered milk. For the elderly, medications, denture needs, extra eyeglasses, hearing aid batteries, and these type of products. For your pets, food, water, leash, carrier or crate, all your veterinarian records and medications, a picture of you and your pet for identification purposes, toys, poop bags, and or a litter box. Number 12, entertainment. Just because it's not a very good day doesn't mean that you have to have people sitting around all doom and gloom. So you want to have books and board games, card games, have arts and crafts supplies, portable musical instruments. Depending on the situation, you may not want to make a lot of noise. Number 13, comfort items, family photos and other keepsakes, religious texts, Personal pillows or stuffed animals for children. Number 14, heat and light. Candles, solar or hand crank lights, extra batteries, portable solar chargers, matches, lighters, propane heater, indoor rated, and fuel. Number 15, other tools and supplies. A survival manual. Maybe a tent, possibly a compass, a signal flare, fishing and hunting gear, and a good pair of binoculars. And number 16, seeds and gardening tools. A variety of vegetable seeds, gardening gloves, handheld gardening tools, and fertilizer or compost on hand. Remember to maintain your kit regularly. 
Rethink your needs every year and update your kit as your family needs change. Replace expired items as needed and reevaluate your needs every year. Store boxes of food in tightly closed plastic or metal containers to protect them from pests and to extend its shelf life. You can also do this before storing using mylar bags, vacuum sealing, and this type of stuff, and then put it into your containers. Lastly, teach all family members about how to use the items in order to be prepared for a disaster. It's not just about having the items, folks, but knowing how to use them that can save. So thank you for joining me on this journey to become a disaster ready. Remember, preparation is the key to resilience, and you already taken a massive step towards safeguarding your future. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to explore and learn, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. If you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, there are countless more life-saving tips and in-depth guides waiting for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Stay connected, stay informed, and together, let's turn the unpredictable into the manageable. So stay safe, keep prepping, and until next time, I'll see you all on the next video.